Anyway, let's talk about Thai Airways. Last time we reported to you that Thai Airways announced to sell some of their properties, some shares in Nok Air and their buildings and stuff. So today there is another update from Thai Airways that they plans to cut staff by 50% or staff costs by 18 billion baht annually over next two years. After two postponements, Thai Airways International submitted its rehabilitation plan to the legal execution department officials, under which the debt-ridden national flag carrier plans to slash staff expenses from about 30 billion baht annually to about 12 billion baht, or to reduce its staff by half to under 15,000 in two years. Acting President of Thai Airways, Chan Sintri Nuchakorn, said that under the same rehabilitation plan, the airline will reduce the types of aircraft it operates from 12 to 5 and maintain a fleet of 86 aircraft, reduce unprofitable routes and cut maintenance expenses. He added that in the initial stage, when the COVID-19 pandemic situation has improved, the airline will focus its operations on profitable routes with the hope that it will return to profit in the next four years. Chan Sin also said that for the time being and in the foreseeable future, he said that no new aircraft will be purchased. Regarding the airline's accumulated debt of about 410 billion baht, Chan Sin assured that there will be no haircuts on the debt repayment. The airline will pay only the principal without interest but with a grace period for the first three years. On top of that, he said that the airline plans to use about 50 billion baht in the next two years to increase its liquidity and sustain its operations. He dismissed as untrue a report that the Thai Smile Airline, an affiliate of Thai, will be dissolved. He said that it will continue to operate, but will have to make adjustments in order to sustain its operations. And that wraps up tonight's edition of Thai PBS World Tonight. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Swadika. Swadika.